Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by the channel for another Screwy Tuesday. My name's Chuck and uh, be a short one tonight. Um, I wanted to start off though, I did get uh, uh, some mail from uh, Jim uh, Ded Deadman, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, his YouTube channel is there, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. He was uh, kind enough to send me some stickers. Someone's pinging the heck out of me here. Who's pinging me? Don't. That's my son. Hang on. He's asking me if I can pick him up. He's been out drinking on St. Patty's Day. So I got to go get him. So quick introduction here. So. All right, oh, I'm back from dropping that. As I said, Jim, uh, Jim and I traded stickers, and uh, he also sent me a gift, and uh, he made me sent me an oil cup that he makes, and what he said is I make these out of children's paint cups, that is supposed to be no spill. I got the idea from another YouTube creator. I discovered if you put the tube in the container, it makes a spill-proof tub. And you can see through it. And he sent me a brush with it. So, Jim, thanks a lot. Uh, I, I like the fact that you can see it. Seems like uh, my typical spill proof containers, it, I'm always filling them and they're always empty. I, I can never figure it out. Anyway, since I've got to run, I, uh, I'll share one other thing. Mr. Bozo came and visited me today <laughs> for a quick one. I just. Uh, was making a uh, little sheet metal cover for my buddy Flea Market Dave. And you can see uh, Target was eight and a half, and I hit eight and a half, and Target was seven and an eighth, and somehow old Charlie got seven and three quarters. <laughs> so uh, got to use my spot welder, weld it up, but uh, this one's gonna be around here for a parts tray, and I guess I'll make another one, see if I can hit the dimensions right. Now uh, with that, we're going to show you a little bit on the grinder and uh, hope you enjoy and always check back every Tuesday for another Screwy Tuesday. Hit the subscribe button. Keep the channel growing. Thanks. Do a little test here. So this is the initial grind. The, the initial grind to get a baseline. Handheld. So what we're doing here is I picked up a new indicator and so I'm going to see, I'm going to measure the part and then see how small of an increment I can pick up and actually grind. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not. 0.4883. So I went back, I already did this, and I lost the footage. Four eight eight two. There it is there. Four eight eight two five. I got a half of a millionth. Let's see if I can do it again. 48225. Now the grinder's been off because uh, I walked away and I thought I had it. So I got 48825. So let's see if I can split that. I've been putting the grinder or putting the part in the same place on the uh, mag. Everything's clean, so I haven't touched anything, but the machine's been off. So we're going to turn it on. And, uh, it's always nice to let them warm up a little bit, but we're going to go for it and uh, see what happens here. So what I'm showing is the new digital uh, drop indicator that I put on my machine here. It uh, really 
really has helped here. I was using this guy, 10th reading, and uh, the the new digital drop indicator is five places, uh, so I can split can split 50 millions. So we'll try it again. See if I can repeat it. Yeah, it looks like we're getting more than what we want there. We'll mic it and then we'll go back at it again. Sorry for standing in front of the camera a couple times. Eighty-eight twenty-five. I did get it. 488.20. That's with the machine sitting off. Four eighty eight twenty. So let's uh let's shoot for another. Let's see if I can repeat it again. I dressed the uh, wheel before I started all this, just for reference. Well, looks like we took more of that time. 479, 48795. Let's try it one more time. Just to show you, I got the uh, shop manager over there keeping an eye on me, just in case. Four eight seven nine zero. So pretty successful that I can repeat taking that light of a pass and uh, reaching a number. This uh, really gives me a opportunity to uh, really do some fine grinding when I need to. Um, not that it's something that I have to do a lot here in my shop. I'm just a home hobbyist having fun, but. Uh, the uh, digital micrometer uh, or drop indicator I should say is uh, really going to act much more precisely compared to what I was using here trying to guess a, you know one each tick is a tenth but trying to pick in between a tenth uh, quite, a, quite a bit different in closing this video Note, I was only grinding over a half inch by half inch area. Getting that measurement, a lot of it's luck, a lot of it's uh, feel on the micrometer. Um, but to hold those kind of tolerances and to gain it over a large area 
would be quite extreme. And again, measuring it, you know, it, it's all regarding temperature, control. There's so many things involved in it. I was just having fun and quite excited that I could uh, hit that measurement and, and repeat it. But again, I'm no fool. And I understand that uh, to do it over a large area and uh, complete the measuring and everything is a much different task than what I showed. But anyway, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you back here again. Take care.